Welcome back. Well, final 20 minutes of trade today, but it's been a rather good session, though volume's still a little bit tepid. A good time to move to D Street Chatter. Nimesh joins us after a bit of a break. Hey, Nimesh, good to have you back. Tell us, what Thank are you, you picking up in terms of action today? Well, in a good start uh, to, the, to the new series, right? And the, and the good part is that there is a good participation in the broader markets. That's where, uh, you know, the stocks are up. It's yeah. been a bit of a strong pullback as well. And I guess there is a technical factor as well for that mid -cap, the mid-cap and broad cap, small cap to do well. The reason is uh, we are starting the, the, the new calendar year, so to speak. So the books have opened up for, for retail investors and HNIs to take positions. Uh, the funding has started as well. That typically happens, you know, mid-March. The funding stops for most of the retail and HNI mm. investors. There is an unwinding as well. We saw that pressure playing out in the, in the, in the second half of March. That seems to be behind now, and maybe that explains a big move in the broader market stocks today. The index is up one and a half percent, but a lot of individual names who've beaten down very sharply have seen a sharp pullback in today's market. So that explains a big move in the broader market stocks. Having said that, the flows are quite muted. That's the broad feedback as well. So this rally is not led by a very large FI or a DI buying. That's the overall feedback. And and lastly, uh, from a sector point of view, it's the metals which has done really well today, largely on the back of the Chinese data. But in general, the feedback is uh, this month could be for the, for the month of uh, metal stocks. So. Watch out for big momentum in the in the metal names. But it looks like at least in the first half of the April series, mm. this momentum in the broader markets can continue because the because there is fresh leg now. The stocks have underperformed as well. So a bit of a pullback is expected in the broader market stock. Well, that's good news then, right? Because portfolios got hurt yeah. in that March uh, 13th, 14th thought. But tell us individual stocks, what are you picking up? So in terms of individual names, the first stock in my list is Shilpa Medica. Big, stock, big move in that stock as well. The volume is on the higher side. I understand the company is likely to raise funds uh, from some market investors very soon, so watch out for that news in Shilpa Medicare. The second stock is Concord. Within the PSU names, this stands out purely on back of very strong buy flows at FI. So expect high delivery volumes in Concord in today's market. The third stock is BEL. Even that is buzzing into it on good volumes as well. And, this, and there is a strong anticipation that the company is likely to back a very large order, defense order very soon. So that's, that's keeping BEL exciting. And the last name is ITC. That's been consolidating after that big block where, the, where bad sold out. Now I understand there are, there are, there are bid interest from larger FIs uh, in ITC. So it looks like some bit of institutional interest is back in ITC at these levels. All right, uh, Nimesh, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, so that's